cracking. Whoa! I'm gonna have to pull the race car on you, my man. You know, I think today I'm gonna do some work in my room, actually. Hey, you just can't leave a situation when a race car is at play. It's in the rules. There are rules? Oh, yeah. Thought of by the race car council. <sighs> so many questions. Ask away, kiddo. In fact, I'm having an AMA on Reddit tonight in about five minutes. Okay. Well, I guess my first question would have to be, do you think of this all on the spot, or do you stay up the night prior to think of ways to bug me for the next day? Well, let me answer that question with a question. Uh, do you hate your country? No. I don't hate my country. Then do me a liquid, a solid, and sign this petition I set up where any race car carrier can and will deport a person simply because they are threatened by their race. Please don't tell me you actually made something like that. Just sent you the link via F-mail. F-mail? Yeah, because fuck real life mail. Email is where it's at. <laughs> yep, here it is. Hey you. Yeah, you. Are you glad that Barkak insane Nobama is gone? Did you vote for Donald Trump? Are you happy that the Muslim ban he did? Well, if we can get enough signatures on the petition, then we can create a law where every race card carrier can deport whomever we so choose solely because of the color of their skin. Once DJ Trump sees this petition, there's no way he can resist. Let's go back to how this country is supposed to be. One race. God bless America. Penny, for your thoughts? You're not a good guy. Whoa, what did I do? You're promoting hate. You're promoting the idea that we should bring segregation back. Did you honestly think the Muslim ban was a good idea? Uh, did any plans have a terrorist attack during the ban? I don't think so. Oh, you're unbelievable. So are you. Come again? I didn't realize I was twinning with such a right-winged liberal piece of poo-poo. You know you're the one who called him Donald Trump, right? As a silly. A silly? Yeah, the petition was too dark for my taste, so I had to put it, something in there to make it more light and loody. I mean, I even called the VP Mike Dents. No, you didn't. Huh? I just read this whole thing to you. You didn't mention Mike Pence once. Uh, no, it must have slipped my mind. Uh, calling him Mike Dents is comedy gold. Oh, wait, you do realize there's nothing funny about making a petition like this. Graham, uh, let me explain something to you. Please do. I have agenda to push, okay? Now that we trumped Nobama, Shillery Clit, and Oldie Sanders, it's time to put this country back on top. But this country has been so progressive. Having Trump in office will be taking steps backwards. Says you. Says not just me. Says many people. People who are way more into politics than you and I are. You know what your problem is, Graham? You watch too much Stephen Colbert, John Oliver, SNL, they can't even form your own solitude opinion. Get a personality, bro. Really? Because you're not even taking any of this seriously. You realize this atrocious petition you made already has 10,000 signatures? Well, we need 100,000 goals. That is why I'm doing this AMA in the first place. To spread awareness so we can hit that sweet and juicy goal. But you started all of this on bullshit. Elaborate. There's no such thing as a race card council. I mean, that race card you have there looks like you just cut up a flash card into a square and then wrote race with a marker. Well, there are laminated cards, but I'm still new to the group, so I have to warp my way up. You see? Right there. You're making up bullshit, and for whatever reason, people are believing it. 10,000 of them, at least. How do you think Trump got elected? Uh, oh, yeah. With bullshit. Graham, I don't think you understand the big picture here. Donald Trump got elected to be one of the most important people in the world with zero political experience. Zero! I mean, that opened the door for endless possibilities for everybody. Want to become a doctor but not very good in school? Oh, pff, you'll find a way because somehow Trump became president. But Owen, let me finish. Uh, of course this Muslim man was a very shitty thing to do, but... What if this actually improves their lives? I mean, it's no secret that a lot of Muslims that live here has this big terrorist stamped on them solely because of where they come from. So uh, maybe after this ban they realize, you know what, maybe the U.S. isn't such a great place to live after all. And then they go off to decide to live in a more beautiful country like uh, France or Italy or uh, some other European country. And when they look back on their lives, they might be glad they never even moved here in the first place.
So, let me see if I have this correct. You're not actually a Trump supporter. You just want people to realize that the United States isn't such a great place after all. Four years from now, I wouldn't be surprised if we had to be renamed the Divided States of America. Okay. Just one more thing. You realize you pulled the race card on me, but we're the same race. So? What, just because you're Hispanic, you think you're impervious from saying things that are legitimately racist? You pulled it when I sneezed. Race card! For what? I don't want to hear you say any of those racial slurs. Racial slurs? Ah, oh, shit, 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 my AMA backfired. What do you mean? All these questions are liberals sending me hate just because they saw my petition and was appalled. What are you gonna do? Nah, I replied to all of them saying it was a silly, of course. Yeah, I'd delete the petition as well. In a sec, Potato Chip 69 just said that my dick is more limp than Squidward's nose.